Yo, I just had Kurt in Hawaii. Yo, you already know what it is, man. It's your boy Shane Official. We back with another video, but this time it's a food review. And I had Coco's Curry. Well, it's called Curry House, but I had Curry in Hawaii. So make sure if you're not subscribed, you subscribe. And if you want to stay tuned and know when my videos are being posted, so you're not catching up, having to binge watch all of my videos, because Shane makes so much content. He's always posting. And uh, so much. I know, I get it. The content is amazing. You can't doubt it, man. But if you want to stay tuned in, hit that notification bell, man, and stay locked in. So me and my friend Rose, we decided to go get us some curry, right? So we're out here in Hawaii. My friend Rose, she's stationed here. Quick backstory. Rose is my friend that I met back in Japan 2016. Um, we were E3s, Lance Corporals when we met at the time. And um, we continued this friendship on to this day. So about seven years. So she picked me up because I obviously got him a car. Um, I flew out here and we went to the Curry House. Mind you, there are two out here in Hawaii. There's one in the main big mall and there's one in this little shopping outlet. So we went to the one in the shopping mall. But say the least, we both ordered chicken cutlet curry, right? Same order, but Rose wanted spicy, I wanted mild. I'll admit, I'll, I'll, I'll just be real, bro. I wanted the mild. Like, I wanted the mild. Because I, I, it's not that I'm afraid of spice. Like, <sighs> but Rose was judging me with her eyeballs. So I switched to spicy. So me and Rose both had spicy chicken cutlet curry, right? And Rose, she really liked it. Um, she said it was really good. Um, she ate majority of it. Um, me on the other hand, um, I, my initial taste was it, this is really good because the rice and the curry was is, it was literally spot on from what I remember. Because if you're wondering why this is so important and why I'm so invested into this. If you've ever been stationed overseas or know someone that's been stationed overseas in Japan, we crave Coco's curry with the, the, the bread naan, all that, man. We, we crave it. And when we leave Japan, we find ourselves, you know, trying to find that consistency and that same taste in everything that we can find as curry, you know? So when we actually find it, like how I found the curry house over here in Hawaii, it's like a trip down memory lane, man, to all the amazing memories that, you know, you made with people in Japan, the party, the getting lit, the turning up, you know what I'm talking about? Smoke pits, you know what I'm saying? Those smoke pit fights, I'm just vibing and weaving by, you know what I'm saying? Just like that, find myself reminiscent, right? So, back to the review, I thought it was pretty good initially. Um, I love the rice, I love the curry sauce. Like I said, it was exactly what I remember, but the chicken wasn't, uh, it was very subpar. Like, um, you know when you bite into a chicken breast and it has that fresh taste to it? Like, like, that's how the chicken was in the cutlet when I was in Japan, you know? So, that chicken, it, it wasn't doing for me. You know, it, that, that's just, it just wasn't doing it. Um, it was pretty good, you know, it wasn't bad, you know, but it, it, it was, it was okay. Um, and if I had to rate it, you know, the meal itself, one out of ten, um, I would have to say a seven. I would have to say a seven, so I would say. Um, like I said, some of you, um, may think differently, you know, my taste buds may be different from yours, but that's just my overall take on it. But if you're ever out here in Hawaii and you are that Marine, that sailor, that soldier, that airman, or space force in, Astro? I don't know. Whatever they call y'all. Pull up to the curry house either in the shopping outlet or the one at the mall. Like I said, I didn't go to the one in the mall, so it may give me a different review. But if you guys want to stay tuned in, make sure you subscribe, hit that notification bell. I'm going to start vlogging my experience here. I really had to get on my feet getting here and get everything going. But now I'm ready to go full on back into the YouTube game. I am here more than I'm on any other platform. So if you guys want to stay tuned in, hit that notification bell. It's your boy Shane Official, man. Shit, as long as we try. Bitch, don't kill my vibe. Bitch, don't kill my vibe.